on one hand, we have all of you students who are just passing plus two exam and they now want to make a career in biotech. On the other hand, I am every day meeting so many students who are passing MSc, not getting placements, and they share their ex bad or good experience with what their colleges with me. So basically, these kind of videos which I make, I make after talking to so many of those students who passed out of these colleges and they share their uh, experience with me. And uh, I'm just summarizing it in this video so that you don't get played out by some of the colleges. Now, word of caution, not all colleges play tricks. But some of them really do. And that is where you should know when they are playing tricks and when they are being genuine. So, uh, I, I have probably more than uh, seven to eight pointers today. The first one which I would like to highlight is not all colleges, but some colleges fake the admission placements. So, during the admission, they will say that we have this many placements or this many people got placed. But they will not display the photo or uh, the details of the companies who came into the campus. And even if they do, that might be fake. So how can you find it is genuine is by going into the placements officer office of that particular college and asking him what kind of job he got. You know, you just do a little bit of dig around and you can find. So the first trick people play during admissions is they will exaggerate the people who are working or who got placed from that college. Okay, so. Now, coming to the second trick which they play is they will put you on a wait list. Actually, there's no such thing as a wait list, but they will create a wait list and they'll say, there are so many applications coming, so you are on a wait list. We will get back to you when your turn comes and probably after two to three days or maybe a week, they'll contact you saying that now your turn has come, so would you be interested to take admission? So basically, that's a way of uh, creating this um, supply-demand Havoc in, in in the mind of your parents that um, there is a lot of applications, so probably you can get rejected if you delay in admission. So you should know that this is a trick. But not all colleges do that. Yes, some top colleges really have a wait list, but majority don't have. Now the third thing what they do is at the time of admission they will show some other faculty list, but actually in truth those faculty never come to the college. There is some other you know under qualified faculty who is going to teach. So it is very important to, you know, go into the staff room or maybe just go around the college and meet people and discuss who are who is going to teach. Probably the students who are studying there, they will give you a glimpse of it, right? The next thing which you should know is the hidden cost and the hidden charges. So many of the colleges, they will say that, okay, uh, this is our fees and then they will not talk about the hidden charges. And later on, when you see the bill, you will see there are multiple other charges added and now you cannot escape that because your child has already taken admission. You have taken admission and you cannot escape that. So at the time of admission itself, ask for the hidden charges. What are the hidden charges? Tell me so that I know. Later on, don't give me surprise, right? Because uh, in college, once you are in, you cannot really go out. Once you have, If you try to go out, they will not give you refunds and there will be a lot of time wastage also for your child and for you. So yeah. The next thing was what they do is they manipulate the rankings and they create fake rankings. So even if uh, they are low on the NIRF ranking, they will cite some other ranking and say, we are ranked this, that. So remember that there is only one ranking nationally done by the government, that is NIRF. So you can follow the NIRF for this ranking. Okay. Next thing which you should know is they will say that right now the merit list is out and you have been rejected. So you, we cannot take your admission and they will deny the admission. And after two days, they will say that some students has backtracked. So obviously you can join now, but there will be an extra fees charged because you are not, you were not on the merit list. So there is a donation quota. So you have to donate some money to get that seat. But actually that's a myth. That's not true. So what you should do when you find such kind of tricks played to you or your, to your parents or anyone is exit. Do not try to still talk to them because if they are playing tricks today, what will happen in the next two to three years, right? So you have to keep in mind. that. The second thing is always do not forget because biotechnology is all about infrastructure and the faculty. So if the right infrastructure is there, the machines in the lab and the chemicals in the lab and stuff, that has to be there. So infrastructure, you can always go in and check. And then the faculty. So you can check the faculty's details. You can check how many papers they have published and especially the papers 
because and are they PhDs or not? Um, how many years of experience they have? And just stuff like that probably just gives you a glimpse of it. I'm not saying a PhD makes somebody a better teacher, but yeah, uh, how many papers they have published, what kind of uh, work they have themselves done, this will help you get get a lot of insights on what really is inside. So please do not buy the book by reading the first page. Just going going inside the university and it looks so huge and big. Don't get floored and say, okay, this is a big university. See, all universities, all colleges, they make it huge buildings. So you will feel that, yeah, it's very big university. It's uh, huge. But the real thing which will be delivered to you is the lectures and the lab. So this is the two formulas, L square I am giving you. Look at who is going to lecture you. And look at what is there in the lab. If both the things are fine, then go in and take admission. However, if in case you are in a dilemma, you can always ask below this, if I know about that college, I'll comment. Or someone from our biotechnical community knows about that college, they will comment. But definitely, let's make sure that the bad colleges don't get good students. And the good colleges should get the best students so that we have the best talent for the biotech industry. Because ultimately, the biotech industry, life science industry, pharma industry will suffer if the right students are not trained in the right way. That is where I come into picture. So I am at the end of the pipeline where I am here to give you placements, but I will fail if you do not have the right lectures, right lab. Never ever accept substandard education because tomorrow that will lead to substandard earning potential and that is where it will pain you, right? Biotechnology is a professional degree, so go ahead, find out if the colleges are playing tricks with you. If they are, don't take admission, look for the next one, right? Thank you, take care, bye.